Say goodbye to camera shake, because in this video, we're mastering steady cinematic shots with the Sony a6700. I'll be comparing seven different shots with different stabilization settings to give you a better idea of how to plan and execute your shots for your next shoot. Plus, I'll be sharing with you the stabilization settings that I'll be using so you can get the most out of your camera without having to maybe even use a gimbal. First, we got three different stabilization modes out of the camera. Without a doubt, the best stabilization setting here is active, as it gets rid of most of the jitters. Here we are comparing the active stabilization versus stabilization only in post. When it comes to hand holding a push out shot, most of these would benefit greatly by using stabilization in post. By the way, there isn't any crop in camera when you use standard stabilization, only when you switch to active stabilization. Then of course, when you apply stabilization in post, there is a crop. So shoot wider if you know you're gonna be doing this. When comparing the three different modes in the camera, you can definitely see incremental improvements by no stabilization to active. When it comes to stabilizing in post with DaVinci Resolve or Catalyst Browse, you're getting very similar results. Of course, the least amount of foot movement will help you get more stable footage, as well as having three points of contact. But for all these tests, I used two points of contact to see how much I could get away with. I tried it again with a slider-like shot without any additional foot movement, and findings are pretty much consistent in camera. Same with post-stabilization. Orbit shots are definitely most suitable for gimbal movements, but I decided to challenge myself using handheld movements again. I wasn't successful in camera, but in post, I was able to salvage the footage. Here's a wider look for the in-camera stabilization. And here's what it looks like when we stabilize it again in Resolve. So whatever stabilization settings you use in camera, stabilization in post is going to be your friend. The only time that I turn stabilization off is when I'm shooting video on a tripod. And I have my exposure mode dial set to manual. Otherwise, all my other custom video modes have active stabilization because I often shoot without a gimbal. But if you wanna save more time with different scenarios without tampering with your settings in the menus, I use 12 different custom settings using only these two dials, which I share over here. 